whole thing without listening. Yeah, whatever, you can tell me. <laughs> oh my god, I just realized that! <laughs> hey everybody, I'm Tamara and this is Alyssa. And we're going to do the plus size tag. Okay, so we're going to jump right into it. Um, I'm not sure if you have watched any other videos of the plus size tags, but we actually got this um, idea from Kelly Augustine and Shantae. So, um, we're just going to jump into it. We have the questions right here, so we're just going to answer them. So the first question, what do you classify yourself as? Curvy, fat, thick, plus size, heavy, heavy. Um, I say between plus size and curvy. I mean, there's nothing wrong with being fat. So many people, like, oh my god, fat. I do think it's just because, like, as a child, you know, you get being teased and all that. But I think I just classify myself as plus size and curvy. Nothing wrong with that. Yeah. I eat. I'll, like, I'll joke and say I'm fat, but it's all about context. Yeah. Like, you can you can tell when somebody is saying I'm fat and they're like, you know, they don't mean any harm by it. But I classify myself as curvy or plus size as well. Um, the second question is, what is your body shape? And I don't know, because I'm, I'm not hourglass. I'm not triangle. I'm not I'm, I'm the apple. It's an app when they got two skinny legs. Yeah, like okay, so we're not there. I'm not there. We're but, not that Because like I have, I have bust. I have a waist. I have. I guess yeah. according to this, I'm a rectangle. I'm a pear. A pear. Yes, yeah, I'm busty. So I'm perceiving <laughs> that I got something. <laughs> okay. So. The third one. Are you comfortable, happy at your current size? And what is your positive as a plus size person? Um, well, y'all follow me on bullsideisle.com. I'm a size 15. Am I comfortable at it? Yeah. Would I like to get there? Definitely. That's what I'm doing. I don't see anything wrong with you remaining. I mean, it's always about being healthy at the first. That's your first thing. Um, and you just embrace whatever size you are. I embrace my size 18. I fully love my size 18. But I do believe that I'm probably gonna be like a little more. Of course. <laughs> of course. Um, I, I think I'm comfortable in the size that I am. And for those of y'all who follow me on Instagram, um, I am on a weight loss journey. So I do work out almost every day. And I don't I don't think it's I don't think I'm losing weight to like get to a number. But I, I work out for me. Like she said, it's all about being healthy. I I think I'm comfortable with my size. I I wear a lot of sizes, honestly. Like, like I wish I could be like, oh, I wear 18. Sometimes I wear 18. Sometimes I wear 16. Sometimes I wear 14. So, I, but I'm comfortable like in the size that I am. I do have to agree with you on that because I think as plus size, you can't stick to just one. I say 18 because that's like my pants size. That's my pants size. But if I go to Burberry 21, I can go into the regular size with the crop top and the shirts. Well, I can't fit the crop tops, <laughs> but <laughs> I wasn't. But yeah, I do think that's one thing that we do, and that's with every size. You could be a size two, but still be into size four. So it just depends on the store. Um, as for the healthy lifestyle journey, I am on one too. I don't say that. I think mean, I don't really post that. I don't. Mm -hmm. But um, I work out at night. I'm late. That's my late night Instagram. Yeah. <laughs> um, the fourth question is, what is a fat thing that you do and think is funny? It says like breathe heavy or sweat. Well, I do sweat. I don't know if that's a fat thing or a genetic thing, but um, a fat thing I do. Oh, this I, my stomach. I think my stomach. I mean, you. <laughs> I tried. <laughs> it's not like one of those flat It's really tight, but I tried to be like, really, 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 really full. Girl, girl, <laughs> let's see, a, a fat, there is a fat thing I do, and this is really fat, because I'm obsessed with sweets, and I love cookies, so like, I go to Kroger at the end of the week, and I go through the bakery, and they have like the clearance cookies, they're like, are kind of old, but they like cover them with icing to make them good, that's my fat thing that I do, that's a fat thing, that's, but like the cookies, you get like two cookie sandwiches for like a dollar, yeah. And, and I mean, they're and good to me. And the reason why they put a discount because like nobody bought it yesterday. 
Right. <laughs> so, but yeah. I like pastries. I can't eat them now, but I like them. They want <laughs> Chiatos. Like, everybody got fried food in their Chiatos. Cars, right? <laughs> one taste, one slice of bread. Okay. Let's see. What is your plus size pet peeve? I, I don't know if this is a plus size, plus size pet peeve, but I have like, if I go somewhere and I have friends with me, they're like, oh, you're so cute. Like, I've, I've been wearing crop tops. Like, they're like, I wish I could wear a crop top. And it'd be like somebody that's a size 12. Like, come on now. Like, like clearly I'm bigger than you. If you can do it, if I can do it, you can do it. I hate that. I, hate that. I, hate I really, that. I really do. Because I think when you go to a lot of events too, and in Atlanta, we don't, there's not that many, I don't want to say press signs, but, like, events, but usually you find, you always find the same thing like that. Yeah. And you always have that like, really skinny, brand size. I love them. I wish I could wear a <laughs> Like, I can't do that. Right, I, I don't understand that at all. But I think my plus size pet peeve, and some might um, think that this is wrong, but I really, I was speaking to another plus size blog about this. It's the fact that you have people who are plus size and they wear clothing that doesn't flatter them or doesn't make them better. At the end of the day, it's all about wearing what you want to wear, but looking good at the same time. Yeah. And so I think that's one of my pet peeves. As long as you feel okay in it, that's, that's what you feel. I do feel as if that sometimes there's things that certain girls wear that you know that that's for you to feel too short. That's just <laughs> what I feel. Right, that's true. Um, heels or flags? Flags. Flags. <laughs> flags. flags. I mean, like, I can wear some heels now, but flags. Like, that's my favorite. Flags. When it comes to dating, what do you prefer? A chubby fit or slim guy? Every, all my friends out there that's gonna be watching this, y'all already know. 6'2. Oh. What's 6'5 now? Thinking about somebody in my head. Oh. Athletic build. Light skin. Mm. Just be athletic. No. Pick I, me up. I do want athletic, but they don't have to be super tall. But I do like, I like muscle. Like, yes. I, I, no offense to the slim guys out there, but I just no love for me. I need something. Something to hold on. Hold on. Yes. Chocolate guy. Okay. Uh, <laughs> my favorite food. Chocolate. Chocolate. Every Italian like pasta, lasagna. So you're a pasta person. See, I'm not big on pasta. I'm a car person. See, I'm so not a car person. And I'm I like. Trying. Yeah, I don't know. Name one flaw. My. Oh, just one. I think you know it. It goes for uh -huh. um, I have. I'm always concerned about how I look. Really? And that's really the. I'm always concerned and I feel like I'm like, oh my god, I'm looking good. Like right now I'm looking at camera hoping that I look good. good. <laughs> but. I think when I'm taking my pictures for my blog, I would say this is my second time. Like, okay. <laughs> and it's not, it might not be that big thing, but like, yeah. to me, it's like, oh my god, that's where my that's where I'm working on. That's why I'm on my health style, lifestyle. Yeah. So that's my flaw. I'm just always trying to try it. I think my flaw would be my arms. Like they're just like <laughs> I do not wear tank tops. I, I just don't like them at all. It, it's weird, yeah. <laughs> Always in the jacket. Always the jacket, girl. Um, favorite item of clothing. I, I'm actually wearing like my favorite item. Like I like these little kimono jacket things because they kind of cover your back good. I love and everything like that. So love that. My, sorry. So the camera was like we don't know. <laughs> <laughs> right, we don't know. So um. We're gonna just start on number ten. No, we did number ten. No, number eleven. Number eleven. Swimsuit, one piece or two piece. One piece. Two piece. And um, before our camera died, we <laughs> we talked about this, but um, I, I chose the one piece because I'm five four, and like most of the one pieces come down, and the high waist bikini, so it's like a, a two piece becomes a one piece on me anyway. So I just go ahead and go with a one piece. And I think that's really like that's the key. What I was talking about, buying stuff that flatters you, 
it makes you look because you know what as women we want to feel good so we want to look good so yeah. for me I do a few things so I feel like if I like one piece I like you know really cute designs on and stuff but I'm always follow me I'm always in the two piece um, and it's because I'm 5'9 sometimes I'm like 5'10 so and I just want to make sure the camera is recording one more time yeah. so. <laughs> We grew it. <laughs> so yeah. So that's for me. I want one. Two pieces. Yeah. So first one. Oh yeah. Mm, not for me. I don't know. They're they're okay. I have can we can we talk about that? Okay, we can. I like first one bikinis. Because some of them work. Some of them look good. But I do have to see like see uh swimsuits for all. They yes, have I love great for all. high waist yes. ones. And um, I do have, I've recently bought a few of them, so you'll see like upcoming that it, it was just raining, so I assume this is why it gets better in Atlanta. You see those, you know. But I do have to say this first one, you want, they're cheap, but make sure that they look good. Yeah, because I'm a busty girl, so like, they have no support. No, no support from me now. I don't know about you, but no right, support from me. They seem to be right here. Yeah, so, so <laughs> the, say, the 12th question is, how do you feel about the plus size community is it accepting? Shay. All, All day, day. Day. <laughs> Um, no. <laughs> I'm going to go with no. And uh, I was actually talking to Crystal about this. Um, well, let's go with the whole, okay, the plus size community as a whole. I'm trying to think just the community as a whole. Well, I say yes because we, we are a community about inspiring others. So, let me read the question again. So, I, I feel like that's a positive thing. But when you look at the plus size community, like, when, like, right about now, I would, like, the plus size community, like, a lot of bloggers are taking over and a lot of, a lot of ladies are looking up to bloggers for inspiration. And I was just telling her, like, there have been times on my blog where I've, like, tagged another famous plus size blogger and, um, like, you, you don't get any feedback. Like, I have gotten some great feedback. It's like stylish curves. Alyssa has um, gave me she's feedback one time. Like, she's she's really sweet. And, um, that, um naturally fashionable. Yeah, she, she has too. She's she, really she will say, like, oh, this is cute. Like, I love this. You did a great job. But there is, like, some people who, you know, like, I feel like we're in this community together. Like, we're not competing for anything. Like, like first of all, like, I was saying, like, we're not famous plus size bloggers. We're just normal people who enjoy fashion and who want to inspire other women. So I don't feel like we're in this community to compete. I feel like even when I see other, like, females writing on bloggers, Instagram, like, where did you get the outfit? Like, I know you saw, I know you saw the comment. Like, it's like you respond to your friends. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> You respond to your friends. <laughs> that is something that I try my hardest. And this thing literally is that if you do follow me on Instagram, I'm both stop at you probably say, well, Chris doesn't post a lot. Chris doesn't. Um, Chris, I'm always calling you back, but I don't post a lot. And it's because sometimes I get, I don't want to say discouraged, but with the plus size community as a blogger, you get people who are just so standoffish. Like, oh, they, mm, they're not allowed. If you don't put, if you don't <laughs> post a like a horse bag or something, that's when they like your type. They don't like designers. And then you have the really, really sweet ones. So as a community, yes, we do. You know, we have those organizations, those events that try to bring us together. But as individuals, like ones that probably have a little bit higher ranking. I don't want to say higher ranking, but more, more people don't have more, more followers. More followers. Yeah, yeah. they. Um, they feel as if that they are Beyonce. <laughs> Girl. And I think that's the best way to put it. When really, um, you, that girl that work in the office. Okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. So now we can name a real plus size celebrity. Um, Jill Scott, hands down. Jill. Like, Jill is, Jill is serving everything. Jill like, is, you know what? She has always just been real about it. Like she, she says, "I am this. I am plus size. I am. She's not one of those that are hiding behind that 
Oscar Dorante, you know, size two. Mm -hmm. yeah. you no, know, they know that this yeah. fit me in a twelve. I right. do like her. Yeah. Or just five. Favorite places to shop. Um, I love ASOS. Like everything I probably buy. Not so I do love Forever 21 too. Don't get me wrong, because I do have a lot of Forever 21, but like if I'm looking for something, I go to ASOS and, and because I have two, the two day shipping, like the premium account. Yeah. So it's like, it's easy. Like if I need something at ASOS, I'm gonna get it in two days. That's, I that's have, my story. I have, yeah. I think for me, I definitely ASOS, definitely Forever 21. Um, and that, I can't do other plus size stop shops and it's only because yeah. I'm short. You know what? It I'm has, short. I like, um, I like Ashley Stewart. I See, like fashion. All this stuff is too long for me. Yeah, and it, I, I do think sometimes um, certain plus I'm not going to call on you, but certain plus size stores, you either sell that club wear that you can get for the low low, or you sell these, and I don't mind buying high end pieces or something like that, but I'm not going to get my money. I pay thirty thousand dollars a year, over thirty thousand dollars a year for pharmacy store. I mean, I'm not, I mean, I'm not, I just can't I'm afford. Yeah, I'm, so. we're both college students. Yeah, we, you know, we. I'm not gonna fork out a hundred dollars something mm -hmm. for something where I know that I can go yeah. somewhere and get, and that's just because of that's us. That's yeah. Um, we are now um, at the age, or say, at the working level of people who make more, and we don't get our stuff for free <laughs> and post it. <laughs> <laughs> but that's not <no> topic. <laughs> that is good. <laughs> but yes. Okay, but um, give a plus size tip. Um, just own it. Own it. Like, this is my problem. Like, I, I find this more and not in the plus size, not in the skinny, but in the in betweeners. Like, the 10s and the 12s. Like, own it. Like, I, I guess because they're like not. They're not, we don't class, well, some people don't classify them as plus size. Some people don't classify them as small, but. That's a thick, yeah. Because I have a lot of friends that's in the in-between stage, but whether you're in-between, small, plus size, own it, own you, own it. And I have to piggyback off of that. I mean, like I said before, wear stuff that flatters. Like, my earlier stage, I never blogged it. I didn't really know that. It took me a while to get to that. So once you get to that point, remember that once you are comfortable with what you have, if you if you like that dress and that dress looking great on you, don't worry if you don't think florals you gonna look like a carpet or what. Who cares? Floral. I got a I got a blog post coming up about floral. I got like a whole floral yes. out because I was thinking like I'm telling y'all to own it. I need to own it. Yes. Don't don't I mean, <laughs> don't feel like you. Right. And I'm, I'm Kim K. Rudd. She did look like a rug though. She did. She did. <laughs> but it's okay. <laughs> but she, she owned but it. She owned it. Okay. You're right. She owned it. Um, name one embarrassing fashion moment you've had. I have several. I, I, well, I do. Well, I, sw I sweat a lot. So, like, I sweat under my arms. And, like, one, one day I went on this date. And it was like a a, tra a trail hike walk or whatever. You didn't work. No, he was sweet or whatever. But like I was shamed because I was like sweat. You did one of those. You did one of those. You remember that like, like, commercial? Did you I did. Those are like stride. So that's a. I guess this can be considered a fashion moment because I thought I was cute for him. I was cute, but, but I, I was sweaty. Yes, but I owned it. <laughs> for me. I was trying my hardest to be in that in crowd, trying my hardest to still look like a and then I realized that I got older and got I gotta keep it automatically playing, I like so keep going. Okay. So um, <laughs> my I think what you saying the biggest what was the question? The biggest Um which hmm, name one embarrassing fashion moment you had. Oh, when I early started blogging, I started in 2012. I was looking at other plus size bars and they were looking for um, somewhere on their weight loss journey, somewhere, you know, just rocking. And I felt like, okay, well, I'm gonna try to be like that person or try to dress like that. And I quickly realized that, no, 
when they're blogging, they're blogging for you. They're blogging for their appeal. Like to me, I feel I blog for the everyday college student, the everyday girl that just you know is on a budget, and that's what I blog for. So I've learned how to make that work for myself. So my embarrassing moment was trying to be somebody that I wasn't. Don't do that. Yeah. <laughs> so um. What's one fashion risk you're taking this season? And like I said, crop tops, like I'm crop tops are in. So uh, that's my fashion risk. My fashion risk, uh, it will definitely be the heel sandals. I've always been afraid to wear. I like those, I'm sorry y'all. I don't like those heels, the wedges that you wore in your post with the gold. Girl, I was but, trying to, I wasn't gonna pay $32 for them because I'm cheap. Cause I saw them on for 21. I'm cheap, but uh, we <laughs> tell you how that went with that one. Um, getting ready for dinner, it was actually my birthday. Dinner. I got ready for that dinner, and um, I needed a pair of shoes. And what's from 21? And all my friends were like, yeah, just, just buy it, just buy it. it. That's how I spent 32 dollars. Ain't never gonna happen again. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I do want to, I've been on just fab, and I've been purchasing a lot of those heel sandals. I think, because I get so afraid that my toes, I have those like sliding toes, that's what I want. So I'm really excited to try that. That's my fashion. Um, what's the craziest thing someone's ever said to you on a date about plus size women? And um, it hasn't happened on a date, but I was describing an incident on Instagram where a girl told me, I think the comment was like, for, for a big girl, you're bad. And I'm like, Oh, okay. The, you know, like I said, I don't think she meant any harm behind it, but just, I think people should just be mindful of how they come at people. Like, just like I said, like, I don't mind the word fat, but I know when growing up, I was called fat, and I know that that wasn't sincere. Like, that was that was a hurtful fat, but I don't, I don't mind fat. But just, just with anybody, even if somebody is skinny, like, like we always say, like, oh, you're skinny, but we just need to be mindful that, Things you say hurt people. Yeah, like we <laughs> we have our other blogger friend. Mm -hmm. um, we're a trio. <laughs> but uh, Reese is um, she's she's of a small regular size, and I feel as if that when I think I'm the same nothing on a date before, um, but I say just size in like comments or something like that. You usually do get oh poor poor fat girl you rock this well or you know. Um, same thing for a big girl or anything like that. So it's like it's like with those shirts um, for a plus size. You're pretty great for a big girl. For a big yeah, girl. that's yeah. I think it's we have to as a society we have to get out of that. It's hard, but we have to definitely do it. It's regular size. Like Reese from um, Fly Frugal, she rocks any outfit. She can rocks any regular size outfit, and she'll say the same thing for us that we rock in the plus yeah. size outfit. So it's just. It's not she's rocking it because she's little. She's, little. she's rocking it because she's big. She's just rocking. She's just rocking. And that's so, what. Yeah, that's, that's true. It's the comments. Yeah, yeah. So we're going to take a commercial break yes. to make sure that my camera is still recording. <laughs> so we'll be right back. Okay. 18. What's the craziest? Oh, wait. We already did that. Oh, we only got two more. 19. What inspires your style? Uh, mine is simple. It's all about being comfortable to me. Um. I don't. I don't really go. Oh, I don't the same. <laughs> it's, it's it's really all about com comfortability because like when Crystal was saying earlier about she would look at other plus size bars and say, oh, I want to do that. I want to do that. I'm not comfortable with some of the things. Like I couldn't. I wouldn't wear five inch heels all the time or just some of the things. It, it's just all about your style. My style is all about comfortability. So like, you know flowy things like I will wear I love body cons though but I'm comfortable in them I'm comfortable with my shape I'm comfortable enough to wear body so it's all about comfortability for me this is going back to the fashion uh -huh. I have not worn body cons love them and somebody didn't believe me when I said that until they went back on my pictures I've never worn them but the girl has a couple she's gonna wear some yep this summer but I'd say my style is definitely comfy. Like, I'm comfy chic all the way. I'm the girl that shows up to the parties 
with an oversized shirt and jeans and flats and cute sandals. So I think that's all about it. Just being cute and comfortable. Um, there's nothing wrong with being cheap if you know you want to look like posh or Giselle, those type of people. <laughs> but it's your style. And I think sim I'm always simple with my style. I think it's just pairing certain things together. I don't do too much. I don't wear a lot of accessories either. I I'm trying to get into them. Like I wore one today. Yeah, I'm, I'm like trying. It. I'm really trying. And it's only because I go places like Forever 21 or Aldo and I'll buy them. But and I don't, never wear them. That's true. And never wear them. I so just purchased some statement necklaces. I'm tr I'm really trying. I, but I'm, I'm not a flashy person at all. So. Definitely. And I think I usually go for, um, I usually look for inspiration from bloggers that are has the same sort of styles, the simple styles. Yes. Like, I like that chic and simple yes. and come cool sometimes. I love it. Um, last one is what quote motivation? Uh, this is quote from my head. I'm gonna read it. <laughs> So it's gonna take you away. I can go. Mine yeah. is mine's actually a scripture, and um, if you follow me on everything, then you probably seen it's um, Proverbs thirty-one thirty, and um, I, I do want to quote mine because I don't want to misquote the yes, scripture. But um, charm is deceptive, and beauty is fleeting, but a woman who fears the Lord is to be praised. So, you know, just going into what we're doing with fashion, like. I'm not sure anybody's religious background, but you know, it just it just says charm is deceitful and beauty is fleeting. Um, there's other things in life about more than just fashion, more than just being plus size, and um, that's that's all I have to say. Like I don't want to um, provoke my views on anybody else, no, no, no. but I just want to say I, beauty isn't everything. Um, I like beauty that. is really skin deep and it's more of a spiritual facet so you can be pretty today and not pretty tomorrow so just think about that when you're um bashing somebody talking about somebody's looks you never know um even when you're looking at somebody because i know growing up being kids like we used to talk about some people like oh she's wearing this today or she's wearing that today oh. She, oh, I'm glad I've grown, I've grown up from that. So. And you know what? As I'm trying to find, because I want to make sure I'm holding Yeah, this. that's fine. Um, I always see that you get a lot of pictures. Um, a lot of people talk about how, what's the, oh, you wore that once before, you wore that already, something like that. Remix outfits. And people need to stop worrying about what somebody's wearing. Like, if it looks great on them, they're remixing. There's some great, fantastic plus size bloggers that will wear a dress and wear it five different ways. It look amazing. There's this, I, I forget her name. It's like Lion. No, it's a Lion. Oh, see, everybody say Cece? No, it's I don't know, but there's a, I, have, yeah. I don't know, but I have seen it and I love it. Cause like we said up, up earlier, we don't get items sent to us. So we can't, we can just wear one to post it and dump it like. Yeah. No, we're actually working with things out of our closet, trying to be an inspiration to others. Like, or just style wearing. does that. Yeah, I love her. I love her. Cia, she does that. She's at on Instagram is at Cia. Yeah, we'll put it somewhere. We're gonna put. She, oh my God, is the queen of remakes. I love her. But my quote is, and this is my favorite quote, is that I always forget to. I always forget like certain words in it. But it says my mission in life is not merely to survive. Mine is on my Twitter too. Uh, but okay. To thrive <laughs> to do so with some passion, some compassion, some humor, and some style. That's by my angel. And I live by that. So, um <clears throat> what do we do with my phone? Oh well, we're we're done. Yes. We're done. <laughs> so like I will say about my quote, um, you know, that's just that quote speaks to me because I feel as if I'm passionate about blogging, passionate about my career choices that I have, I'm passionable. And once you have humor, you have to. I'm a goofy person. I mean, you might not see that like through my blog or Instagram, but I'm goofy in person. Hilarious. Like, we're both goofy. And style. Style is just 
everybody has their own style. I don't care if you think that your style is just comfy or your style is cheap or whatever you think. Everybody has their own style. That is true. Style. Own it. And own, own it. it. Love whatever it. it if you didn't want to wear the baggy clothes, wear it. Own it. So, um, we're done with our plus size tag. Hope you guys enjoyed. Um, we would like to thank Urban Grind for letting us chill out here while I drink my frappe. The best. Best ever. So if you're in Atlanta, check out um, Urban Grind Cafe. We'll put the location in the bottom. And also, um, we're going to include information to our Instagram, to our blog. So follow us and let us know if you like more tags like this. So see you guys later. Bye. I did this whole thing without lipstick. Yeah, whatever. You can tell me. Oh my God, I just realized that. You got to include yeah, that part. Right. <laughs>